Before I jump into who to bet on with the crazy Vitor Belfort versus Evander Holyfield fight, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets and grab the promo. They are doing a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 to celebrate the start of football season. I'm not using it and betting on football, but that doesn't matter. The free money is the free money. The promo is the promo. Get it now before it expires. It is a temporary promo to celebrate football season. So we own picks.com slash bets. Grab the promo. Get your free money. We don't have fights this weekend. No UFC at least. What we do have is a freak show boxing arrangement, and I love it. I will take it. Because Vitor Belfort is my favorite fighter of all time. And he was supposed to fight Oscar De La Hoya. And this is boxing, not MMA. But he was supposed to box Oscar De La Hoya. And I had no doubt in my mind that he was going to smoke Oscar De La Hoya. And I get it. Oscar De La Hoya, one of the best to ever do it. But he's a small, small man. And he's slurring his words in interviews. Not sober very often in the public. And there was just Vitor Belfort all juiced up on TRT and ready to go as enormous as he is. Listen, he's not a boxer at that level, but that dude has hands, power, speed, and he's enormous compared to Oscar De La Hoya. But guess what? De La Hoya's out. Now we have a Vander Holyfield. And we're going to watch two video clips in one second. Just give me a second. I'm getting there. But I was nervous when Oscar De La Hoya was dropped and they replaced him with a Vander Holyfield because Vander Holyfield is a legitimate heavyweight, one of the best heavyweights to do it. All-time great. Mike Tyson bit his ear off. You remember that? So Evander Holyfield, a giant man. Evander Holyfield, a former world champion boxer, Hall of Fame boxer. Evander Holyfield is everything to the boxing heavyweight division that should scare the crap out of Vitor Belfort. So I was nervous. Should I bet on Vitor? I mean, I love Vitor. The odds are even. We're at minus 115, minus 115, even odds. That's because Evander Holyfield is basically 60. I think he's 58 years old. They couldn't get it sanctioned in California. So I did a little research, watched some clips, and now I'm very confident in my bet. Let's watch this clip together and see where we're going to go with the bet. Well, no, no, this, that was, it was my first time. Uh, uh, him, him coming in, and and of course I asked. I made a boxing match. They just said, he ain't had number two. All right, let's pause there. Clearly, the guy's got some CTE going on. Clearly. 58 years old, been boxing his whole life, taking a lot of shots. I completely understand why California wasn't going to sanction this fight. So that's check mark number one in the, hey, maybe Vitor could actually win this fight. Vitor's 44. Evander Holyfield's 58 and not firing on all cylinders. Let's take a look at his uh, pre-fight warm-up. All right, he's hitting the mitts. But if you pay attention, he's looking. Where am I going? He has to think about every combination. It is not coming to him like it should. He's literally thinking about where am I going. His coach holds up the glove. He thinks about it. Then he hits the glove. That dude is not firing on all cylinders. And spoiler alert, I threw two units on Vitor Belfort at minus 115. The props have not dropped. But after the press day, after the open workouts, I, I have a feeling these lines are going to move. And listen, I this might be the dumbest bet I've ever placed. I, I, on paper, you have an all-time great heavyweight boxer boxing an MMA fighter who is not a boxer. So I get it. I'm not clueless. I completely understand what that looks like on paper. But once you start factoring in the age, once you factor in how busy Vitor has been in the last five years and Vander Holyfield hasn't done anything in like 20 years, and once you factor in Evander Holyfield's not finishing sentences and not finishing thoughts and thinking about where to hit on the mitt, Vitor Belfort in shape on TRT, fast hands, quick feet. I think he could touch up Evander Holyfield, dodge the big ones, stay out of the way, and get that done. I have a Vitor Belfort winning a decision. I, he could have he could honestly put away Evander Holyfield because he's like old and slow and chin is the first thing that goes, but. I don't know. I mean, he's still an all-time great boxer. And and 
yeah, maybe it's absurd picking against them, but I got Vitor Belfort, two units against Evander Holyfield. We'll do an update with the props. I hope they drop like the fun prop bets. Are they going to touch gloves? Yes or no? Who's going to bleed? Blah, blah, blah. For now, it is only money line. The odds makers don't know what to do. They don't even have a round line yet. But I have a feeling this is going to move away from Vitor, meaning he's going to become an even bigger and bigger favorite. If you like him, hit the line. I like it at minus 115. He was plus money for a little bit. It came back down. It, it's moving. But wewantpicks.com slash bets. Grab the promo free deposit match, instant deposit match up to $1,000. You put in 100, they give you 100. You put in 1,000, they give you 1,000. Hit it. Get your free money. Bet on this, bet on football, I don't care. Get your free money. Let me know in the comments what you think. We're going to be live streaming the fights. I love the guy. How could I not live stream the fights? I'll see you on Saturday. If we get the prop bets, I'll see you before then.